Hello and welcome to my short tutorial about connecting the uh, iPad to a MIDI controller. Uh, you might have bought an iPad for musical applications and you might have discovered that playing keyboard on a touchscreen just sucks. So how to fix this? Uh, first off, you'll need one of these on-the-go adapters. It is just an adapter with a USB port on one side and a lightning connector on the other side. Now you might be tempted to think that you can just plug it in and you're off to the races. But there's a bit of a problem here and that's to be precise. That the keyboard draws too much power for the iPad to be able to uh, power it on. So we need to fix this, and it's pretty easy. So the first thing you'll need for this is a powered USB hub. It can be any brand. I bought this one from uh, AliExpress from China. Uh, just make sure it supports 5 volts and uh, roughly about a thousand milliamp hours should be good. Now to set this up it's pretty straightforward. You just connect your keyboard to your USB hub. You connect the power to a wall outlet. And now you can power on your device. As you can see now all the lights are burning, it's all, all fine, all ready to go. And you then connect your USB to your iPad. And now, if you turn it on, it is running. So that's pretty cool. However, it still kind of sucks because now you have to find the wall outlet. And we don't want to do that. We want to just power it on the go. So for that, we need two more things. I'll just power it down. And we're going to power this off as well. What you need for this is a battery bank. Uh, any battery bank will do. Just again, make sure five volts out. At least 1000 milliamp hours. And the capacity, of course, determines how long you can run it. And you also need one of these little cables. Now, on the one end, if it will focus, there we go. We have the connector for our USB hub. And on the other end, it's just an our USB lead. So we can, let me refocus this, there we go. Disconnect the power lead and connect the USB lead. Let's go keep it messy. Slip that off the table. Connect the power bank, there we go. That's enough, put it there. Power it on. And there you go. So now you're running completely off the grid, just on your power brick, or your power bank. And the fun thing here is, it actually isn't limited to this size of uh, keyboard. You can actually just grab something bigger, like this oxygen keyboard. Rear end stable, power it on, power it on on this side. And there you go. 
So now you can take your keyboard and your iPad on the move and play everywhere. Enjoy.